Hello everyone and welcome to Van Tech Corner. In this video, we are going to configure Multi One Loss Balancing on OpenWRT 21.02. So for this video, I'm using the Linksys WRT 1900AC and initially this is our WAN port and it will configure in DHCP client. And next we have our LAN port number one. This is a port in the LAN bridge but I will configure it as 1B and it will be running PPPoE on VLAN 35 and the rest of the port 2, 3 and 4 will be the LAN ports as usual and this tutorial is only for OpenWRT 21.02 if you are using OpenWRT 19.07 you can check out this video which has been made a long time ago and you can surely go with it for this tutorial, we are using M13. This is a very popular and famous multi one package. All right, so right here we have a very long of uh, the instructions and technical documentations of how the package works. Uh, but we are going to skip it and go straight to the configuration. So this is the Linksys WRT 1900AC, and right here, let's go to networks and interfaces. So as you can see, currently we have the one port and this will configure in the SCP client. All right, so if you go to the device section, you will see that we have the BR LAN, which is the LAN bridge. And in this side, we have LAN 1, 2, 3, and 4. And then right here, we have our dedicated LAN port, LAN 1, LAN 2, LAN 3, LAN 4, and the one port. Okay, so first of all, we are going to remove LAN 1 from the BR LAN bridge. And then save it, and then save and apply. Right now, port LAN number 1 is no longer a member of the BR LAN. And you can see uh, the color become red. Alright, so now we want to configure PPPoE on VLAN 35 on this LAN 1 port. So we will need to add a new interface. The device type will be VLAN 802.1Q and the base device will be the LAN port number 1. So the VLAN ID is will be 35 and it will end up like this. For the rest of the configuration, we can just leave it at default, hit save and then save and apply. Now we can go ahead and configure PPOE on VLAN 35 on the LAN port number one. However, we have yet to install M13 and the system may not work as expected. So there will be no internet after that. So better we go and update the package database and install M13 first. All right, so let's go to system software and click the update list to update the package database. All right, it is done. So now let's install M13. All right, and then after this one is finished, we need to install Lucy F M13 as well. Perfect. I need to log in. That is okay. System software and then instance and one tree Lucy F. So now I want to install another package which is Beeman because we're going to use Beeman to monitor our network interface throughput after we successfully configure M13. So this one you can install it if you want, or else you can just let it go. All right, so now let's go back to network interfaces. And right here we have our one port ready. So let's create the one B. All right, so LAN 1.35, this is our VLAN 35 interface on the LAN 1 port. So I will click add new interface. The name, I will put it one B. And please pay attention that even though you see the name show on each of the interface, a capital, it is indeed not capital, so make sure you input it like this. And the protocol, it will be PPOE. All right, 
So now for the device section, if you are running PPPoE on VLAN 35 like me, you need to select LAN 135. Or else, if your PPPoE don't have any VLAN, you can go ahead and select LAN 1. Alright, so I hope this is clear for you. Now let's click Create Interface. And as usual, we need to input our username and password. So I will cut this section and we will continue after that. So after that, we will need to select the firewall zone for our new created interface and it should be one. So all good. Let's click save and then save and apply. Just be patient and the PPOE connection should be up and running shortly. Perfect. As you can see, it is up and running and we receive an IPv4 and IPv6 from our internet service provider. So right here, we have our 1 interface and 1B interface. All right. Before we move to loss balancing configuration, we need to check if our interface had a specific matrix. So let's click on the edit button and then on the advanced settings. Right here, we have the use gateway matrix. Alright, so I will set it to 1 for the 1 port and then for the PPOE, I will set the metric to 2 right here. So make sure you specify a different metric for these interfaces. So now let's go to network and then dot balancing. So right here we have some templates for us and actually we can reuse them so in order to launch balancing the interfaces we need to have the same metric all right and then if the interface having the same metrics they will check on the way so if you have a smaller way you will be utilized first all right so right here we have one one six one b and one b six Okay, so let's click the edit button. So initial stay online and neighbor, good. Tracking hostname or IP address, they have too much tracking IP, so I don't need much. And tracking reliability, it is two, which means the system should receive two respond before they say that the interface up and running. So for me, one is enough. So just like this, save and apply. back to overviews and I will do the same with the 1.6 as well so make sure it enable it needs to stay online and then we have some of the IPv6 pre-configured for us so we can just go with this one save and apply and no worry I will share my template after this video so you can have a check on how I configure the multi one loss balancing. All right, so on 1B, click the edit button and make sure you enable it. Initial stay online and tracking IP. This is the Google public DNS, or you can specify your own. Save and apply. And then 1b6 enable ipv6 just remove this one and then save and apply back to overview so we done with the loss balancing the interfaces all right so let's go to the members so we have a lot of members okay so let's try to remove some of them so one m1 matrix one way three and then one six right so i'm going to delete this one and then i'm going to delete this one as well so one b delete this one as well so so i will left one m1 w3 one six and one w3 one six okay this one i just go ahead and delete it one six b m one right so it looks like we need to reconfigure our one b 
So it will be 1B, matrix 1, and then weight 3. So this matrix and weight is only applied inside loss balancing. So make sure you specify a correct one. So interfaces, it will be 1B, matrix is 1, and weight is 3. Click save and apply. And then back to overview. So as I stated previously, if your interface having the same matrix, which is one, they will be lots balancing. And then the system will check the weight. The interface or the member with a smaller weight will be utilized first. So in this case, we can see that one and one B have the same weight. So they will be loss balancing 50-50, all right? So let's do the same for 1, 6, B, click the Add button, and select the interface, matrix 1, weight 3. And then back to overview. So all right, so actually I forget to add like M1, W3, but it is fine as long as we specify the correct matrix and weight and the name doesn't matter. So on the policy, a lot of things. So delete, 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 and delete, and make sure we left our balance. So click the edit button right here and delete them all. So I will select my member to use this one, uh, this, and then this one, and then this one, and this one. And then, all right, click uh, say and apply. And basically until now, so everything should be up and running. So we can go ahead and click back to overview. And on the rules, we can have a check right here. So the policy assign current balance. So it is good to go. However, if you change your policy name right here, if you put any like loss balancing or something, make sure you go and edit this button and then select the correct policy. All right. So that's it for now. And let's go back to the status and loss balancing. So right here, we can see that our one interface and one B interface is up and running. So uh, you can see interface one B6 and one six is still in disabled status because my current setup doesn't support this GSCP V6. And as you can see, um, GSCP V6 client doesn't work in this case. As you can see right here, we have the one B underscore six interface it is created by the PBV package so let's see if we go ahead and can change this all right so i think that the fastest way to try is edit the configuration file right here so it will be vedc config m13 and then on the 16 okay it's good 1b and then 1b6 click the i button and let's see what is the name so this is 1b underscore 6 1b underscore 6 okay so right click and then um, uh, serve it network restart Alright, so let's go to status and loss balancing again. Okay, so no tracking, 1B disables, 1B, this is online, 1B6, and no tracking, it's online, and 1 is online. As you can see, I have manually renamed the M13, 1B6 to 1b underscore 6 to match the interface name in the network interfaces right here and then the interface will up and running in loss balancing so 
uh, right here we have the 1.6 but I think that this is still not supported by my upstream router it is time to test out the setup okay so let's run bmont p and then I will specify want and then pppoe 1b okay so let's open speed test application and let's see let me select a different server for example vnpt and let's go As you can see, we have the traffic divided between two different interfaces and the same during upload. So we can see that the multi one loss balancing is working as expected. In this video, we can see that SpeedTap utilizes all available network connection, and we can see that the traffic is flowing on our two one interface, which is the one interface and the PPoE one interface on the port LAN number one. However, I want to mention that M13 is working based on the IB based load balancing, so it will not combine or it will not bound all of your link speed together. So if you are using a different application, for example Facebook or therefore if you run the speed test or tracking the bandwidth with a different service provider, you will see that the traffic is only flows on one interface. So this is very normal. So let's do a check for that. So let's try another setup. So if you want to run PPoE on your one port with VLAN 35 as well, then this is how you're going to configure it. So let's go to the network interfaces and then on the device tab, let's click at device configuration. So right here, the device type will be VLAN A02.1Q and the VLAN ID will be 35. So the base device will be your one port, okay? so one port and then hit save and save and apply so in my case as you can see it is showing LAN 1, LAN 2, LAN 3, and LAN 4 and one port but in your case it may show up at Ethernet 0 and Ethernet 1 so make sure you select the correct interface okay so now if you want to change your one interface to run PPoE on a certain VLAN then click on the edit button and then on the protocol go ahead and change it to PPoE and on the divide section right here make sure you select 135 for example if you are using VLAN or if you are not using VLAN then it will just be your one port and change the one to PPoE okay so that's all for this multi one tutorial on OpenWRT 21.02 because the setup is quite different from your other setup. So if you want to configure multi one lot balancing on OpenWRT 19.07, go ahead and check out this M13 tutorial right here. And it has two videos. This one is lot balancing and this one is multi one fell over mode. And just in case you want to understand how the M13 application works as well as the S1 configuration, go ahead and check out this link, which I will put it under the video description. That's all for today. Thanks for watching and see you all in the next video. Bye bye.